make them break. Oh my God! Which we're making salt brine at Breakheart. I we've done this like ten times. It's all right, everyone. Let's go. Come on, come on. <laughs> Breakheart has this great big wooden porch, and while they've been using rock salt for de-icing in the past, the space between the boards makes it a great candidate for liquid salt brine. Plus, it uses less salt, so it's better for the environment and cheaper for you. Here's what you'll need to make your own. A bucket. A stirrer for your drill. Regular table salt. And of course, a pump sprayer. To make effective salt brine, for every gallon of water, you'll need to measure out 2 pounds, 4.8 ounces of regular table salt. We've got a 2 gallon sprayer, so we're going to double it. Mix until there's no granular salt left. It helps if you can use hot water. Assemble your sprayer and pump up the pressure. Spray it in lines 6 inches apart, so in this case, right down the middle of the boards. You can treat up to three days before a storm. Just make sure it's not going to rain heavily beforehand because that could wash it away. And you can keep it stored all winter. Just shake it up before you use it again. If it seems like the sprayer is jammed between uses, just run some hot water through it to knock the salt loose. And check the link with this video for instructions on how to make your own salt brine this winter. And remember, it's brine time. Dump it, dump it drill, go. Mm-hmm. <laughs>